Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. Finally, I am back. It is May, and I'm coming back with videos hopefully every week again. But as you can understand, it's exams. I'm feeling much, much better at the moment. So I'm glad to be uh, back making videos. And as well now, I've started making a couple of vlog videos and I'm doing one right now, just over there. And I'm doing a bit of show you how I do my videos. But anyway, without further ado. So yes, I'm back. I'm nice, I'm happy because I've came back from America. Although I do miss my peace too. Of course, coming back from America, what haven't I had? I've not had a haul yet. So here goes. And first of all, I'm gonna tell you today that I am drinking my lovely coffee in this mug here, which you can see is a Washington DC mug. Of course, from my favourite place, Dunkin' Donuts. You know, if you know me, you know how much I love my Dunkin' Donuts. And this coffee is amazing. It's got some vanilla extract in as well, so it's really, really good at the moment. But, I need to go and do some more stuff. Right, do a couple of freebies. You probably already know by now, and if you don't, I'm really surprised. I went to the Supreme Court of the United States. So of course I got a guide to the oral argument. I went to the Library of Congress as well, which is of course the biggest library in the world. I've got my map of the Supreme Court. I've got my visitor's guide to the Supreme Court. Thomas Jefferson Building, which is the Library of Congress map. And just some bits out of there, which I'm gonna keep nicely in an envelope. Because I always keep my travel stuff in an envelope. I just think it's a nice way to preserve them. So I'm really happy I've got them, but they're only three bit bits. So of course, I'm a law student. If I went to the super, I'm a, well, I'm a law and American studies student, and I had to hand in an essay on the Supreme Court of the United States and the main role of the Supreme Court of the United States. So what do you think that means? I brought back landmark decisions of the Supreme Court, and this covers some really good decisions that were made and it's edited by James Daly who I don't really know who he is but it covers of course Marbury and Madison which <laughs> covers a thing called judicial review which is where judges review pretty much things by secondary legislation in this country so like subordinate legislation like councils things like that but in the US they get to like they get to review what Congress and President does so Marbury and Madison of course is important but there's loads of other cases like the Dred Scott case Brown versus Board of Education Rowan Wade and they're all really important oh and there's also Bush and Al Gore so I'm really glad I picked up this book and it was only seven dollars why not? I got this from the Library of Congress. I know what you're thinking. What? Jan's not brought a book from the Supreme Court? About the Supreme Court? Of course I did. You, well, Kansas University Press book, The Supreme Court, The Essential History. And this, I love. I've already started reading bits of it. Not like I'm supposed to be doing that when I've got exams. But this is amazing. I sound too much of a geek here, don't I? It discusses all the different courts, like the Marshall Court, the Taney Court, the Taft Court, which, of course, that was a president as well, Howard Taft. And the Warren Court, which is also very important. The Marshall Court was what Marbury and Madison was under. So if you know about Marbury and Madison. And Brown, Brown and Board of Education was the Warren Court, was it? I think it was the Warren Court, Brown versus Board. Might have been the Vincent Court though. This is from the Library of Congress. I couldn't actually get it in the Supreme Court Library, so I was quite sad because I couldn't get anything from the Supreme Court that I wanted. You also, I did see, but I couldn't get it, was a book by Bernard. Basically, I'm just going to put it there. Oh no. 
going to put it there on a photo. And I really wanted that book and I can't find it yet. I've read it in the library, but I really want a copy of it myself. So I'm going to try and get that, I think. Now, those of you that know me and follow me on Snapchat know that I go to a lot of universities when I'm in America. It just seems to be a thing that I do. I happen to go to a, a certain one in DC though. It's called Georgetown. Got myself a nice Georgetown University hoodie. It is grey and blue because they're the colours of the university. And in the unlikely event that a uh, certain family is watching, they know I went on an open day when I was in New York. Uh, in New York, I went on an open day when I was in DC. Uh, around Georgetown because hopefully I'm going to go and study in America and I could be anywhere so I don't know where I'm going to be as such but I want to get an idea for American university life so I've decided that I wanted to go around this university just to get an idea but of course I'm the only European in the open day thing great and there was a guy sitting next to us, uh, they were from Long Island, him, his wife and his daughter, and I, when they asked, I, when they asked where people were from, I shouted of course Birmingham, and this guy just went, whoa, now it happens to be that his father lives only a couple of miles away from me, but we were sitting next to him in a US university, how strange is that? In fact, I enjoyed Georgetown so much that I've got this university business card holder from the School of Business. And you're probably thinking, why? Well, some of you know that I go to public law things, I go to a load of law like conventions and that. Quite boring, aren't I? Actually, can hold business cards, and I use business cards a lot. It makes sense for me when I go to my lectures like in these other conventions to have one to keep in my jacket pocket and I seem to come back from America all the time with these Converse but I'm a bit sad because I could only get one pair of Converse because I wanted another pair which were the red Converse you know the red ones like these red and I couldn't get them so I was quite sad the next size they had was size 13, so a bit difficult. But these ones are plasticky leathery. And because I currently live in Wales, and the weather, such as today, is raining, I thought leathery ones would keep my feet nice and dry. I just found two pairs of socks. Didn't know they were in there. Yeah, so that, to be honest, that's it from my haul. There weren't really loads to get in Washington because it's not as touristy as you might expect. Although I did get some books and that's what I wanted and I really enjoyed my time. Tell you something, if it's really worth going to Washington. And on that note as well, you will have noticed that I have put a video up so far, it might be two by now, where of my travels during Washington, Please go and check them out if you want to go and find out about what Washington is really like because they are like montages and a bit of vlogging from what I do. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. As you can see, I've brought loads of really good stuff back from Washington. Oh, that coffee is nice. Oh, I brought some coffee back because, well, you'll find that out in the third episode of my uh, Washington series, why I brought some coffee back. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure you give me a big like down below, which you've got this far, at least. And that really helps with my videos. Of course, make sure you subscribe down below as well. I can't have an annotation link anymore. It's sad. But you can also follow me on Twitter and Snapchat as well. You missed out now following me on Snapchat because I was in America. And now I'm not travelling anywhere. Like I say, thank you. Make sure you check out last time's video. It will be at the end. The end scene is pretty much the same. 
but I'm going to have to change course the subscribe thing but everything else pretty much be the same place and I'll uh, see you next time goodbye why don't you click subscribe make sure you check out last week's video why not follow me on twitter or snapchat <laughs>